Yo, somebody tell Grant to open his page up. Anyway, I wanted to point out a few things about the uh, uh, the Jumbotron video. So Drake dropped this the, the video, and I played it earlier. I probably could pull it on my damn self. Jumbotron video. If you look through the video, people are noticing that Drake basically is flexing a lot of, like, things that Pharrell basically used to own. Some, like, little skateboard P chains and all that type of stuff. I could probably Google it. Drake skateboard P chain. Let me see. Yeah, he's been rocking a lot of um, Pharrell-inspired shit recently and i think it was an overload on this new video where like he pretty much was flexing mad stuff to do with it right the jewelry and i grant open your page nigga. okay here we go yo so i just seen this on his page recently like i'd refresh right now grant i don't grant said Drake just dropped his new music video for Jumbotron popping and the subliminals that Pharrell is insane. Drake used the entire music video to flex all of Pharrell's favorite jewelry that he had recently purchased for $3 million. No, this is not a flex on Pharrell. This is a flex on Pusha T. This whole shit is the flex on Pusha T, my nigga. They ain't got nothing to do with Pharrell. Yeah, it has to do with Pharrell because by, by proxy, Pharrell, Pusha T. But this is to shit on Pusha T. You know what I mean? So, for example, uh, Drake really dropped three million so he could. Nah, it's not this and Pharrell. There's really a level to this, and there is some truth in this. Where like, yes, he copped the PSP, the gold PSP. He copped a bunch of these things, which are all items. I wonder, is there a list? Maybe I could go on Google and find it or Twitter. Drake, Pharrell. Auction, let me see. Okay, here we go. More pieces Drake bought at an art auction. He bought a gold PSP for $19,000. Like, this nigga just got money to fucking waste, bro. He bought a, what is this? He bought some some piece for 150000 Definitely way overpriced. Like, what the fuck? Bought another piece. De oh, N-E-R-D chain. Definitely overpriced for $150,000 as well. And um, what the fuck is this? A visor? Bought a fucking visor for $62,000. Yeah, this thing is sick. There was some more auctioned off pieces, I believe. So I said, Drake bought all that Pharrell jewelry. Now I keep getting outbid in that auction. Yeah, Drake bought every fucking thing. Look, Drake bought some of Pharrell's most iconic jewelries, as well as his, his gold PSP at an auction for almost $3 million. He spent, damn near, $3 million on all this shit. From what I believe is that I believe it's because Pharrell. Uh, um, well, number one, I think he has admiration for Pharrell, and I think number one, he, he, number two, he used to have a, a lot of admiration for Pusha T. I think he's purchasing in these things, kind of like almost jabbing to um, Pusha because it, uh, Pharrell and Pusha used to be frequent collaborators. That's the only thing I could get out of this. You know what I mean? Like I know he does everything with a purpose. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. He's rocking every fucking thing. God damn. God damn, the nigga bought every fucking thing. Oh, he even had the visor. No, yeah, he's taking a shot at somebody. I just don't think it's Pharrell, though. Yo, Drake is so fucking petty, man. Drake is so motherfucking petty. Now, the reason why I believe it's Pusha, right? Um, but it, it says, uh, it says, oh, uh, Drake wearing all of Pharrell's chain, wearing all of Pharrell's chains and Bape jacket, the brand which was popularized. Oh, is this a Bape jacket? That's a good catch. Let me let me Google that. Drake Bape. 
Yeah, this nigga is fucking petty, man. Uh, I don't see anything on Twitter, but okay. I'll take it. So this is a bait jacket? And he's standing in front of Pharrell's favorite car, the Ferrari Enzo? I don't know if they have beef, though. Now, what he did have right, uh, I'm talking about Grand Wizard, is, is this line. Drake says, I plan to buy your pers most personal belongings when they up for auction. Now, I do think Drake is going to do this for several artists, but I think this is really a push of T. Because if you listen to the song, let's, let's go to the song, Omerta. If we go there, you hear him, and most of them lines, he's kind of like, he's spitting that push of T a bit. Only thing I'm trying to see is custom outs from Tiffany and some gunners that'll hit you out of nowhere like Epiphany. Really, that's me. Aside from the obvious, man, is changing scenery. Testing me is going to have my niggas testing machinery. Yo, Drake be talking hella tough. Yo, Drake make talking tough seem mad cool, bro. The boy, be, he be wild and peaceful. Restful, rest in peace to Tina Marie. Ethics and values, mom traditions, old fashions. I love when he says random shit like this. Monopoly action like like this shit right here is just like this is what put Drake above everybody else He'll just say some random shit, but it makes sense in like a it sounds you know who does that too? um Rick Ross Rick Ross does that too Ethics and values mob traditions old-fashioned monopoly action Bronny buying up Brentwood like he's still in Akron and a lot of pain, a lot of passion, a lot, a whole lot of re relaxing while oh, while other niggas is overreacting. That's how we continue down the path of Jordan and Jackson. That's some insight for y'all, even if no one's asking. Last year, niggas really feel like they rode on me. By the way, he dropped this year after he was going out push your T. Last year, niggas got hot because they told on me. I'm about to call a bluff of anybody who fold on me. I'm buying the building of every door that closed on me. Yo, this nigga is petty. We got to look as if he's bought any buildings recently. Yeah, Laurel, Piana, and Brioni. Who the fuck is that? That's, yo, that nigga be rapping about shit that I've never heard a rapper rap about. Like, I've never heard, like, Drake the type of nigga, he's so elite. Like, he'll be, like, he. every rapper's rapping about Amiri. He's the one who, he, if he's going to rap about Amiri, he's going to be like, you'll never catch me wearing a mirror. Like, he likes shitting on everybody, just showing a different level. He used to do it with hotels. Be like, yeah, I would never stay at this type of hotel. Like, he would just be dissing random hotel chains. That's why I was so shocked when he showed love to, um, what was it called, Cheesecake Factory. I was like, oh, shit, some regular shit motherfuckers could, could enjoy. Yeah, Laura Piana and Brioni, the one and only champagne popper, the love doctor. Your baby mama call me when she lonely. My tailor see me twice a week. He like my homie. Forever grateful. Forever thankful. Yo, that boy went crazy on this. Diamond necklace, but she wears it on her ankle. The bitch is trendy. My enemies send each other's texts that they could never send me. I'm banking two million a show. Holy shit. Two million a show? That's why I think about what he want. For the residency, Nevada Gaming Commission in a frenzy. How much money can this casino lend me? Ripping markers up over shots off the henny. Vivid memory. Can someone send me a real nigga interlude to me? See? Once again, he doing it. To me, Benny Hanna is pigeon food. What? Benny Hanna is a spot. Yo, Drake, you guys. Yo, Drake got the. Yo, let me tell you this. And Drake does this, I think, better than Jay-Z. Because Jay-Z, when Jay-Z was getting, like, really elitist and rapping at a high level, obviously, he started rapping about, like, Pablo Picasso's and art, and everybody was just like, yo, this European shit you got going on, nigga, we don't fuck with, nigga. Drake does it, but, like, he'll name drop the shit we do fuck with, and rather than just, like, go elsewhere with it, he'll just shit on it. To me, Benny Hanna is pigeon food. This is not a forgiving mood. So much we got to count up the 20s in a different room. I am just a body that my, my brothers are living through. Keep my connection strictly physical. Everyone that's married is miserable. I know that's not a lifestyle I could give into. Damn. I can't see Drake getting married. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
The rise to the top of this mountain has been biblical. I don't carry cash because the money is digital. It's the American Expresser, the debt collector, hailing all the way from the Mecca. Got something for Trudy and Rebecca. Who the fuck is Trudy and Rebecca? Ain't Trudy like from the Cosby show or some shit? This shit could last forever. The mind control of the Ayatollah. I built a bridge to success and visions of me riding over. Step in a room in October gets a lot closer. Haunted houses. I don't know how to. I don't know how to count in thousands. Only millions. God damn. Boy, just shitting on us, man. Now I tell you, nah, bro. Yo, Drake's the best rapper in the game. I ain't. Kendrick can't rap like this. Fuck all that shit. I don't care what y'all niggas are talking about. Kendrick is rapping about some shit going on in Ghana. All right, nigga. We don't want to hear that. This what I want to hear. Fuck that, nigga. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Send him to Lagos or Turks and Caicos. Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago. Never go to the same place as they go. See? He got this shit where he's he like shitting on other niggas, man. Separate vacations. A far cry from when Drizzy had slept in the basement. I was never on the path to getting in Cambridge. I mean, I was good at doing math, but I'm better with language. I plan to buy your most personal belongings when they up for auction. Man, truth be told, I think about it often. Damn. Then you miss it. The petty king, the overseer of many things. I wish I could. I wish I was playing a sport where we were getting rings. I wouldn't have space on either hand for anything. West Hollywood knows my presence is many. Nah, this nigga went crazy, bro. Bro, Kendrick can't rap like Drake. Bro, bro, stop it, bro. Like, stop it, my Bro, we pretended for like 10 years, bro. Kendrick can't rap like Drake, bro. I'm sorry, bro. The shit's over, bro. Like, it was a, it was cool while it lasted, my nigga. Like, Kendrick had to lyrically punch that nigga in the mouth and take the throne, my nigga. Kendrick rap every once in eight years, bro. You can't rap with a goat. Like, this is the goat. This is the GOAT, my nigga. Like, Kendrick is like Carmelo Anthony. Like, this is like LeBron. Kendrick, Carmelo Anthony. Lebr uh, um, Drake, LeBron. I'm sorry to tell you this. The conversation been over. <laughs> like, nobody even has these conversations no more. Like, only an idiot talks about this type of shit. Somebody said, why well, act acting like that Drake wrote this on his own? Nigga, yeah, he did. Bro, y'all got to get that. Y'all got to stop saying all that shit, too. If this ain't Drake writing this shit, well, whoever who's writing it, that's the GOAT. And why that nigga didn't put out some songs for himself? Because this is some good shit. Man, name the ghostwriter who's writing all of it. Yo, Drake got, like, literally about 55 songs that are straight bars like this. You're telling me he's finding a new ghostwriter every time? Bro, Cole, nigga, add Cole and Kendrick to combine. They can't fuck with Drake, man. Come on, dog. Like, are we going to be honest for a little bit, bro? Bro, there's there's second tier to Drake. And granted, they're, they're alone in the second tier, but it's Drake. Like, we have, it's like LeBron. Bro, you have LeBron. I don't even call him nigga Steph Curry. <laughs> like, like, Steph Curry got, like, no, it's like LeBron and like Carmelo. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know what you call them other niggas. I might call I might call Kendrick Anthony Davis. Street clothes. <laughs> we don't know when he be rapping. Anthony, if, if the wind blow more than three miles per hour, Anthony Davis is injured. We just got Kendrick album. You ain't catching another one until 2050. Sorry. I'm telling you the truth, man. Yeah, I think this is the pusher T. The only thing, though, is that, like, I understand why Pusha T says, I know I'm getting under your skin. I really feel Drake want to spin the block on Pusher one more time. But damn. Ah, oh, man. I think this bothers him a bit, man. I, th I think the, the, the thing with Pusha T bothers him a bit because I think he watches Pusha T when Pusha T's not even of the caliber that he should pay attention to. So I think, I think 
him not responding to Pusha T has bothered him. He's trying to like stun on Pusha T. But I think Pusha is handling it really well by just saying, my nigga, I know I'm going to keep getting, I know I'm under your skin. And I'm going to keep laughing while you're trying to deal with a loss. And even though I personally don't think he lost that beef, the majority of people claim he lost the beef because he didn't respond. It is what it is. Somebody said Quentin Miller wrote that. Nigga, Quentin, Quentin could never. Quentin could never.